Welcome to VX tutorial for beginners. My name is Dominikos Stelny and today I'm going to show you how you can use this library in your VHS project. So let's begin. What is VX? The first question for everybody who heard about this library and novels that is used in VHS apps is what is it? In short words, we can describe VX as a local storage inside the VGS application where you can save some temporary data, for example, username, email or some tag tokens or hashes. More about this you will see in this tutorial. So now let's go to the installation. Now we know what this VX is and that means that it's time to create a new VGS application that will use VX storage inside. So let's do this. First, let's generate a new application by its next command in our terminal. Okay, so let me generate a new application as I said. So let's type view create say and for example, VX example. So it will be the name of my folder with new Laravel, uh, oh, I mean Vue.js application. So now let's choose Vue 3 version and now let's wait until everything will be installed. And after that, we will go up to the project folder and install Vuex library. So let's wait until installation will be finished. Okay, so as you can see, our app is successfully generated. So that means that now we can go to the Vuex example folder and now let's install Vuex. So let me show you npm commands that you will use to do that. So you will need to type npm install vx next save and it will install vx library. So as you can see, everything's fine. Yeah, also we can use here npm audit fix force for our packages, but now I'm going to open my project that I just generated in Visual Studio Code. So let's do this. Okay, and now let's see what we have and what we will do now. So let me show you my Visual Studio code that I opened at my project. Okay, so I'm here and as you can see, we have default by default created app.u component and hello world also. So first let's, you know, let's delete this component, hello world. And yeah, let's also remove this component from the app.u. Yeah, also in this tutorial, I'm going to use composition API. So before we're gonna do some examples with this, let's clear all this stuff. So let's also delete this sync and let's type here heading, for example, UX, UX tutorial. Okay, so now the first, another question that we have, how we can set up UX in our project. So to do that, you will need to create a new folder inside the SRC folder named storage. And inside this folder, you will need to create a new file named index.js. So in this file, we're going to type everything to that we need to create a, a new storage of our application. And first let's import function named create a store from UX. So first you will need to import this function. And after that, we're going to create a storage. So let's type here const store. And after that, we will need to call this function name create a store. And after that, we open here object where we're going to type parameters and also variables that we'll have in our storage. After that, let's type here export default store and let's type here state so the first question what is state in short words we can describe this like a object where we can define all variables that our store will have so for example let's imagine that i want to have a new variable in my storage that will be saved and will be named count and by default this variable will have zero uh, as value okay so that's the way how we can create a store. First, you type this function, and after that, you return here objects that have every variable that you want to save in this store. Okay, so yeah, that's all for now. That's all that you need to know. Now let's try to do one example. So the first concept of the VX, this is state, and and state, as I said, it's like a object where you define variables of your storage that you have in your view application. So now let's create a new component here, for example, test.view. Okay, and as I said in this tutorial, tutorial, I'm going to use composition in API. So let's type here script setup. And now we can import our store. So one of the ways is type import store from from storage. Okay. And for example, let's imagine that now I want to see what I have in my storage. So I'm going to type here store just yes. Yeah. So just console log my storage. And let's type here storage test. Okay, now let's go to that view and now let's import our test component. So let's type here import test from that components test that view. 
and let's open here components object let's define it in this component we want to use test component and let's type here and show this component so now let's open terminal and now let's run npm run serve okay so let's see as you can see server successfully started so now let's go to the google chrome and let's check how this works okay so as you can see i'm in my browser and we can see here vuex tutorial storage test and let's open me console so as you can see we have store and we have some getter some other functions and as you can see here we have one variable named state and if you open this you can see we have data but we can open data uh, yeah no if you go to target Yet you will see data and here you will see variables that we successfully created here so count but if you will use view plugin you can also open this and you can go to test and as you can see here we have also store so as you can see view plugin sees that we're using store in our view project and yeah that's all that we have in setup so that means that we successfully created storage in our application and you know now let's try to do one example so for example as i said we have this kind count variable and let's imagine that we want to increment this value of this uh, variable and let's show this in our test that you component so let's do this if you want to change value of the sum variables that you have in your storage in vuex you will need to use features that is named mutations so somebody asked whoa what is mutation we can describe mutations like uh, you know like uh, methods that we use to change value of the variables that we have in our state in our story let's imagine that we'll we'll have here function that will be named increment oh yeah and also i forget one important thing yes i created storage but i forget to add this storage in my main.js file so that's one of the important things that you will need to do so type here store from 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 uh storage and let's type here app.use store okay so now i fix it i forget to do this but this is really important to define that you want to use uh your store in globally in your component in your app okay so i fix it now let's get back to mutations so as i said we can define mutations like a custom functions that we can use to define to change value of the variables that we have in state or for example we can manipulate with data that you have in this variable so when you're creating a new function in mutations you will need to create here a local variable named state and somebody can ask well why we need to create this is variable the answer is simple because by using this variable you will able to access state that you have here so for example i can type state and as you can see now i can access to my count variables that i created and i can change value of this variable and if i save it and now I can call this mutation but somebody can ask questions so well how we can uh, how we can call this mutation uh, so now let me show you how we can do this and but first let's create a here a new variable name example count and let's define that it will be maybe ref or maybe we can just type here store state count so yeah for example if you want to oh yes yeah, it will not work okay uh, oh no yeah so this is working okay so if you want to use some variables that you created in your storage in your component you can just create a variable and after that define store state so you enter to state of your storage and after that name of the variables that you want to show so for example i'm going to type here counter and my count variable so as you can see now everything works and if i try to open browser i will see that i have counter that equals zero so if i go to test you will see that our count variable is equal to zero okay let's get back to visual studio code and now let's make some changes to call here mutation that we just created so if i want to call mutations that i created first i'm going to create here a new function for example named call increment and here i will type just store commit and name of my of mutations that i want to call here so for example commit increment and yeah so as you can see call increment is defined but never use it now let's use this function so for example uh, let's create a here new button named uh, with name increment and let's add here click event so call increment and yep that's all that you need to do if you want to call mutation that you created uh, in your storage 
Also, I'm gonna show you how you can provide some variables and values inside mutation because you can create uh, other variables in your mutations that you created. Okay, so now let's try to check it. So let's get back to browser and we can refresh it and let's go here, let's type test and let's type click increment. And as you can see, we have one trouble with increment increment button. So looks like I did something wrong here. So maybe first let's first let's type here console log increment. Let's see that our mutation is called. Okay, so let's open here console and let's type increment. And as you can see that mutation is successfully called, but we don't change failure of the state of the maybe of the state no i think not we changing we don't changing value of the count variables that we created here so let's try to do this by this way or we can just define this as ref as i said but let's try first slide this way and if i now as you can see page is refreshed and if i click again if i refresh as you can see value is not changing so the problem is i think because we don't using here ref so let's get back here so we can define here ref and it's because i'm using um composition api i will need to also import here ref from view pack okay so let's open browser again let's type increment and as you can see this not work okay so maybe i think we have some trouble with state changing so maybe we can just try to type here state state count equals count plus one or something like this and we can go here again but you know maybe we can just type here store counts store state that count and ref is defined by our users so let's change this and okay everything is fine here so let's get again the browser let's refresh it and now as you can see everything works so it was trouble only with variables that they created and as you can see our mutation is working so that's great for example we can now create another mutation that will name decrement so for example let's type here decrement state and i can just type here so maybe we can First, let's plus plus operators here on here let's type here minus minus okay let's save it and let's create here call decrement function and let's copy this button and inside this button we're going to call decrement function and let's type here decrement let's save it and let's open browser again refresh it let's start, try to increment and decrement and okay looks like i forget to change click event or maybe oh i understand okay so i forget to type here name of decrement mutation that i want to call here decrement mutation now let's get again to browser let's try to increment and let's try to increment so as you can see everything is store uh, everything is now stored in local storage that we created here and as you can see we have call decrement function and decrement function yeah and increment function so everything works and yeah so for example if you want to save some data you want to change values of the variables that you created in your state of your storage you will need to use mutations yeah and now let's try you know another example so as i said you can create uh, another variable in your mutation so for example let's type here and no number and let's provide this variable now in test that view so for example let's go here as you can see yeah so i type it that so i created here new variable named number and now i need to define the value of this variables that i just created so for example 50 let's save it and now let's open it and if i type increment okay so we have some trouble again okay okay so maybe um can type state count that count equals this operation and let's type here number so we will see everything in console so increment commit so now everything's everything must work so let's refresh it let's open console and let's try to increment and as you can see now everything successfully working so the problem was because in my storage uh in 
increment function notation I mean I forget to type that I want to change value of the variable by this way and by using this operator that we use every time when we want to define value of the some variable so yeah so that's the way how you can type the way how you can create uh, another variable variables in your mutation now let's move on to another concept of the vx and this that will be getters and actions so first let's talk about actions how we can describe actions so let's imagine that here i have actions objects and how we can use this so we can define actions like uh, functions which we can call and inside these functions we can call mutations so for example if you have operation um set for or maybe function where you want to call three or five mutations and you don't want to you know create a function that will type every time commit 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 you can just use actions so for example i can type one actions that will call for example three mutations so now let's create a, a new action that will make increment and decrement so this action will call first increment and after that decrement so how we can do this first let's create a here new function for example or maybe better to call this action that will be named like a mega increment like this and here we will need to create a, a local variable that will be named context and by using context we can commit this mutation that we created here so for example i can type here 50 as i did this in test that view and here i can also commit second mutation decrement so first it will add 50 to my count and minus one when we will call decrement mutation okay so now question how we can call actions so as i said you can use actions if you want to call you know three or four mutations or do some operations inside yeah so first let's create a here a new button where we're going to type mega increment and after that let's define that we want to call here function call action and now let's create this call action function and let me show you how you can use and call actions so if you want to use action you will need to type here dispatch and you will need to define name of the actions that you want to call so let's type here mega increment and as you can see everything is fine in console now we can open browser and looks like i did some okay yeah, i forget to type here button i type here bottom not button let's refresh it and let's go to browser again and now let's type or i mean let's click on mega increment and as you can see first this calls increment functions because increment functions add 50 to count variable and after that we call decrement mutation to make minus one operation so that's the way how you can use actions but you can also create here variables inside action so for example i can define here message yeah and let's type here alert message and let's go to test that view and let's define message that you want to provide here so for example you just click it on mega increment button let's save it and let's go to browser again let's refresh it and if i click on mega increment as you can see this calls you just click it on mega increment button and show this message and as you know we provided this message by creating here message variable so in actions you can also create here your own variables if you want in every action that you will create here and now the last concept of the ux this is getters so as name suggests you can use this function if you want to get some data so now let's do another example so let's define that we want to for example return some data that will be multiplied by 10 so for example 10 multiply so it will be name of our getter and it will return state count 10 and yes state is not defined so let me fix it so in getters when you're creating a new getter you will also need to create a here state variable if you want to access your state of your storage and change values or get values of variables that you have in your now let's call this getter in our test that you component so if i want to get my getter and use it first let me type here 
using a getter and here I will type store getters and name of my getter so it will be 10 multiplied let's save it as you can see we don't have any errors in terminal so that means that I can now open my browser and let's type here my game command and as you can see failure that we have here is multiplied by 10 and I can type here increment and this multiplies so that's the way how we can use getters you can use getters if you want to get some data and for example change um, you know for example let's imagine that by getters uh, that you save some JSON data in your storage and we'll need to create a, a separate gator that will get this JSON data and parse this data and return to user so it was really small examples how you can use Wix and really short tutorial so thanks for watching that's all that I wanted to show you and soon I'm gonna show you also example how you can create a, a full stack application with you and Wix so thanks for watching